Hey everyone, how are you guys? I wanted to share with you guys some things that I am working on um, that are going in the Junk in My Trunk uh, Vintage Garden Kits that I have available. Tomorrow is the daily deal um, that will be posted. I did a pre-daily deal order for those who want to grab their pack while they can. Down below is the direct link. They're only $22. They're so packed. Usually my daily deal junk in my trunk kits are around $25, but part of the daily deal is I lowered the price and the kit is big enough to fit in a medium flat rate box. The box is pretty big um, and the pack is really big and I found the cheapest rate is that medium flat rate. I don't have to adjust the rate because in the listing that you do grab one of your uh, kits, will automatically have a medium flat rate setting. So you don't have to worry about being reimbursed for any shipping overages. It's ready to go, guys. I kind of figured that one out. Um, I didn't know where to find that setting, and now I did. So it's awesome. So today I was going to be working through some embroideries that I'm cutting up and I'm putting in the garden kits. In the garden kits, when you go to the listing, you're going to see itemize the things that are going to be in the kit. The best part of it all, not only did I lower the price on the kit, to make it only $22, you get to choose your book. And they're really large size books, which you'll see tomorrow. Or you could go to the listing right now. When you go to the listing, it has a picture of every book that is an option for you. Six of the 20 kits are already taken as pre-orders. You can grab your pre-order today. They will ship out the day after tomorrow. Um, I only had 20. Like I said, six are gone. Um, like I said, you might want to go grab and check yours out. I was going to go through and show you some of the embroideries that I got that I'll be cutting up. And each kit, I had bought these pens. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see these. I do have these in the shop right now if you just want pens. These are actually writing pens. They're extra fine writing pens. What I love about them is not only the size. When I first got these, I was worried about the size. But um, they're fine, like extra fine, like point. So I'm going to write on paper and show you what I mean by extra fine. Um, it, the key is right here at the bottom. Isn't that so cool? The key, I'm sorry, the pen is right at the bottom. You open up the bottom of that key and voila, there you have it. And it has a little hole at the top, so if you want to put a little string coming out or just have it dangling from your journal. I think it would be cool to have one dangling like in the middle of your journal um, on a string kind of thing. But in my shop, I have a set of six that exactly what you see here is exactly what you're going to be getting for only $6.00 can't beat that right shipping is their lightweight so shipping is going to probably be two or three dollars can't beat that for six really cool pens that you could probably bedazzle on your journal or give away as gifts they're absolutely adorable they are refillable so all you do is unscrew the top put the new pen tip in there and then there you have it so great deal they're just a buck a piece um, but they come in a pack of six just like this that you see kind of thing but let me get a piece of paper and i'll show you how fine they are oh so back to the kits so yes i have these as a sets in the shop if you want to grab a set of six but in each vintage garden kit that i am telling you about will have a pen they're going to be random it could be this color that color i'm not going to give choice it's just going to be too hard to choose and pick but you will get one of these pens randomly in your your kit um, so you know, um, but as far as if you want to buy the whole set, you can. The link is down below. Pretty, pretty quick and easy. I'll have it marked that says the pen set, and you just click on that link and grab it. But let me go ahead and um, let me try one of these pens out for you. Um, I know that I gave these away at the women's retreat. Is why I originally got them. And I was like, well, maybe you guys might like to have one. So let me grab a pen, and I'll show you exactly um, how fine. It is. Look how cool is that, guys. It's really cool, fine tip. I love the fact that I can refill them, that I don't have to throw this away when I'm done. I can reuse it. So I love how fine it is. Um, and it doesn't, I've been using mine at the retreat, and um, it doesn't, like, blot or do anything, like, weird, like, fuzzy things, what have you. It's really fine. I absolutely love these pens. I hope you grab yourself a set. I think I only have, like, 14 or I think 14 sets available. Grab them while you can. I'm not sure how long I have them in the shop, but right now so far I have that many. Um, if they do sell, I'll just grab more, um, but I won't get them in for a bit sort of thing. So there's those. Grab them while you can. 
but I really wanted to show you the type of embroideries that are going to go into the garden kit. If you go grab your kit today, like I said, tomorrow is the daily deal. I will be showing the entire kit, what exactly is in each kit tomorrow on a YouTube video for you guys. Um, it's really cool. I can't wait. You guys know I really pack my kits, especially with a lot of vintage items, which I love embroidery. They'll have fabric. It's going to have a lot of different types of papers that are vintage in the kit as well. We'll have like some French uh, CPAC labels that if you guys seen those before. But this book is one book I'm taking apart. It's Wildflowers of America and it will have, you'll have like two or three pages from this really cool book. I think it'd be awesome for your journaling um, that you can use for pockets or tags, what have you, but they're just no matter which page they're gorgeous on either side of the page. So there's that. So I got a huge pile here. I got another pile that is uh, being washed in the wash machine right now. But I figured I'd give you guys a sneak peek of some of the um, embroideries and trends that I'm putting in the kit. So there will be butterflies, pieces like this I'll keep whole. But if they're like larger, of course I'll cut like that and there'll be a butterfly. But there will be two or three pieces of embroidery you will in the kit as well be getting trends and stuff like this, any type of uh, um, types of um, crocheted borders, but you will definitely have a lot of embroidery. I don't have a whole lot of cross stitch, which I kind of am happy because I really love embroidery, but look at the trim like there, the crochet trim on the bottom of that. It's gorgeous. You will have a trim pack, a fabric pack, um, embroidery pack, things like that, but I really couldn't wait to show you guys these beautiful pieces. This I'll probably keep whole, but I have runners, which I'm not going to open them all. The other side looks exactly like this. This will be cut, but you'll have some nice pieces, a variety of color um, to kind of give you an idea. I'm trying to get away from the stains, but I'll do my best. Here's a cross stitch. I don't have many cross stitch, but here's this, which I'll probably keep it whole. We have napkins. Some are stained, that will be in the kit, but it doesn't matter because a lot of your stuff, you guys are going to do a lot of cutting. Here's this one here. Really cute, huh? Like this will be kept whole, it'd be in someone's kit. Let this be random, you know? Um, I love vintage pieces like this. This I'm keeping, unless someone really, really has to have it in their kit. It doesn't go with the garden kit, but on the other side is... You have the horse embroidered piece. Reminds me of like the Kentucky Derby or something. And like the house on the other side. I'm just going to put that aside. So you have napkins. This here is, look at this trim though. Absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you guys run over, grab your kit while you can. They're all going to ship out by the end of the week. I'm going out of town, so everything will be shipped out. Uh, the order will be done and handed over to the post office. I know the last time when I went out of town, the schedule pickup, my husband was home, but the schedule pickup never came. So I didn't get to know it until I got back home and people are like, we're, you know, not a whole lot. I think it's like two people were like, where are my packages? You know, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I wish I was home, but I will make sure they are handed over to the post before I actually um, make my way out the door. So. Here's that there. It's a whole big table runner, which the trend you'll see a lot of people will get. Um, again, I'm just showing you a handful of what I do have. It will be absolutely fun to make your guys' kits absolutely beautiful. Perfect time before spring, Mother's Day, any type of vintage garden journaling. Here's a little bit of cross stitch. This is a whole tablecloth. I'm just going to show a little bit. But I hope you guys love the embroidery I found. Um, it's just eyelet. It's another tablecloth. I think I got a lot of baskets I can cut out of that one. Same thing here. Look at this tablecloth. So pretty. I got a whole lot of corners I can cut out for the, each person's kit. Looks like I got four corners and then I have some centers, which is really cool. And of course, we got plenty of this beautiful trim that I can um, crochet trend that I can put in everybody's kit kind of thing. Plenty to go around. Like I said, this is one pile of two. I know i um, going back to get more. This is a tablecloth. I know someone has their name on that already. For those who want 
to get certain items. There, I have a waiting list for certain people looking for certain items. This one here goes to a person on the list um, that's next in line. It's absolutely beautiful vintage tablecloth. If you want to be on that list, down below is my email. Just go ahead and email me and um, tell me what you're looking for. Because I know that um, when I'm on the road this week, coming up week, I'll be going to the Goodwill Outlet. And those who know, I absolutely love the Goodwill Outlet. And um, so I know I'll be doing that. But here's this beautiful lady in a bonnet and dress. I, it's both sides has her. This one in particular, I think I'm going to keep. I think I can make two really cool journal covers out of it. If anyone's interested in some journal covers, I'll set up an order for you. I, I loved making my last journal that was quilted, and I think this would be absolutely beautiful to make into a journal cover um, to where all you have to do is the signatures and the inside. But look how beautiful that is. It's totally raised. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Like I said, I can make two out of that because there's another girl on the opposite side. That saves for there. And then this here, I'm not sure if this necessarily goes garden, but um, I know I have a waiting list for those who want cross-stitch and embroidery sets. I do have this. I'm going to ask them first. But if not, go ahead and email me, guys. Um, next person in line can have it. It's like a bridge tablecloth. It's square. Um, and I can open it up later. But it's got beautiful pieces. But I don't think it goes with the garden theme. So this is up for grabs if the first person in line does not want it. So... All right, guys, I hope you absolutely love some of the vintage garden pieces that I'm cutting up and putting in your guys' kits. Don't forget um, to go on over, check out that listing down there in the shop, um, grab your kit while you can. And um, like I said, they are all going to ship out this, um, this, this weekend before I head off. And a uh, medium flat rate box, can't beat that. It's literally packed. Packed enough to make you, gosh, at least two or three journals, maybe more, um, especially with the book and all that. So, all right, guys, thanks for taking the time and checking this out, checking out the pens and the really cool uh, items that you get with the kit. All right, guys, until tomorrow, get that daily deal while you can. You guys have a good one. Bye.